All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I like, I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakal Kodash. Double honors to my apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel who rule well, and uh, salutations and honor to the hopeful out to the hopeful elect out there, pushing this truth and sincerity, and and, and to you few women and children out there, uh, uh, diligently learning. All right, um, this is Brother Bashar, um, and I want to get into this quick topic. Oh, Slot. For those of you who don't know, um, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of the Heavenly Father's Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And uh, Rakal Kodash is the Holy is the name of the Holy Spirit in the uh, Paleo Hebrew. Alright, and uh, and right now the topic that I want to get into is uh, the topic of of Seth, um, not Seth, uh, Isis and Mary, um, because these two, uh, they these two doctrines get confused a lot. They get they get they get mis uh, misunderstood for being the same doctrine. The, the, the same people, the same prophecy, um, which is wrong. And uh, we're going to prove that through the scriptures. Just bear with me for one second. And the first scripture that we're, that we're going to bring out is it's a lot. Is uh. The book of Jude, verse, uh, I believe this is the book of Jude, chapter 7, Ch all chapter 1, it's a lot, verse 14, through, well, really the point is at verse 14, and it reads, And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord how shy cometh with tens thousands of his saints okay so the prophecy of the lord the fact that the prophecy that he he that he's going to come back it was was even prophesied um during the time of Enoch. now just verification Enoch was before noah okay the scripture says says the uh, the seventh from Adam okay now let's let's look at this the seventh from Adam now we see Adam we see Seth you know what let's this is the seventh um one two three four five six seventh we see um Enoch is the seventh from Adam okay now let's look let's let's look at where Noah is Noah uh, it's all the way. He's the tenth from Adam. Okay, now we know Noah had three sons, and and one of his sons were uh, the uh, forefather of of the uh, of the Hamitic nation. All right, um, the the the, uh, the 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 Hamites, which are the uh, uh the, the so called Africans today. Which the so-called Africans they uh um they ruled Egypt, all right. That, that that was their empire, and this is this is where the um the, the from the um the Egyptian empire. This is where um where ISIS comes from. It comes from from the the Egyptian Empire, these uh, these uh, the Kemet movement, they like to bring this out, saying, "Oh, the Bible is fake." Um, and to prove that, uh, we we have uh the the, the prophecy the prophecy of ISIS was has uh, was already uh prophesied, uh, what a prophecy of uh, of Mary was already prophesied in Egypt, and that that makes um. Uh, 
um, that makes the Bible lie, which is wrong. Because even in a time of Enoch, which came before Noah, it was being prophesied that the 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 doctrine of the Lord was already it was being prophesied. You know, the Lord it, it like it wasn't a new thing in Isaiah. Um it wasn't it wasn't first brought out in Isaiah chapter seven verse fourteen that the Lord would be born of a young woman. It wasn't the first time, even in a book, even in a time of Enoch, this was being prophesied. And what happened was, I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this uh, verse and then I'm going to continue to expound. This is Isaiah chapter four, chapter 7, verse 14. Therefore, the, the Lord himself, Lord, Lord Yahweh himself, shall give you a sign. Behold. A virgin shall come, shall conceive, and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. All right, that's a prophecy. That's a that's a prophecy in the Old Testament, saying that the 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 that the Messiah would be born of a young woman, of mar of marriageable age. Okay, so it wasn't. A new thing, and it, it wasn't a new thing at all that that the Lord, uh, they, that He was going to come back on the scene. That prophecy wasn't a new thing. It was it was it was it was being prophesied even in the book of, uh, um, even in the times of Enoch, which were before the Egyptian Empire. Okay, this is the book of. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 9 through 10 the thing that hath been it is that which shall be it is which shall be and that which is done is that which shall be done and there is no new thing under the sun okay verse 10 it is there anything whereof it may be said, see, this is new. It hath been already of old times, which was before us. Okay. Now, the doctrine of the Lord, the, the prophecies of the, of, of, of the Lord, like the, the, the truth was always on on, on the earth. It was always on, on the earth. The Lord, the, 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 the Lord always had his, uh, his prophets prophesying and, 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 and teaching on earth. Even since the time of Adam, um, um, read that in the book of Salak. Um, going back to the point, the the the, the, the verse escapes me right now. Um, but yeah. So what happened was is it, what 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 happened is the same thing that's happening today. You know, uh, another nation got a hold of the truth, and they they knew that the truth wasn't uh, beneficial for them, so they took it and they they try to make their own version of it, which is happening, which is happening today, um, with the nation of Edom, because Edom took the took the knowledge, the law, statutes, and commandments, and the prophecies, and they discombobulated it. All right, now we got this image on the face of the earth uh, with a uh, white Jesus, you know, with a uh, with with, with a, a white Messiah, and that's not biblical, you know, because when you go to uh, Revelation in the Book of Daniel, it it, 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 it proves that the Lord was a, a man of color. All right, and it's the same exact thing that went on in a time in in the Egyptian Empire, and um. And uh, and with that, I want to wrap it up, but I feel like there's more that needs to be said. So this right here, this right here is is false. You know, this is false. It just 
It just so happens to, 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 to be that the Lord chose the nation of Israel to be the chosen seed to carry out his truth. You know? The chosen seed that the Messiah, the, the, the chosen nation that the Messiah was going to come back in. You know, because if he was going to come back, he had to come back in one of the nations, one of the 18 nations that were on the face of the earth. Just so happened to be that he came in the nation of Israel. You know, the, the Lord chose the nation of Israel, all right, to, to, to be a special people, all right? We read that in the book of uh, De De Deuteronomy, um, I believe 7 and 6 or 6 and 7. Um, just check those two verses out, and um, it's in one of them. Um, yeah, and with that, um, um, come, uh, the, 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 the truth is being brought out right now, man, like, uh, in these days, we are living in the days that the truth is being brought out, and only, only the ones who are called and chosen will take heed. Really, the only, 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 only the ones that are chosen, because the scriptures say many were called, few were chosen. All right, which is which the hundred and forty-four thousand, which are the elect of the nation of Israel, that will govern the 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 the, the, the face of the earth, the, the govern um, Israel. Um, which you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna put everything back in order. Right. Once the kingdom is established. All right, and with that, uh, this is the brother Barshar. I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Well, all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Wadash, the wonders to my apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who who well. And uh, salutations and honor to the, whole, to the hopeful elect out there pushing this truth and sincerity. And with that, this is uh, Shalom.